Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 11 of Let's Play Gjallarhorn. I just got done with episode 10, now the sun has set just about on day 2 of the 3 day Gjallarhorn adventure. So I guess I can mention the next game coming up, even though we have a full day of Gjallarhorn left. Next game coming up is going to be, I believe it's Nox Arceus or Dungeon Lords. I think it's Nox Arceus. So I will be returning to Nox Arceus to knock out a few episodes or knocks out a few episodes. <laughs> but yeah, um, having a blast here. So what we have to do today is, um, oh, I still have to find one person. Um, at some point. Okay, so you have multiple days. Five Sculpins. I guess we have five. It seems we would have five. So let's go spend the night. Turn in some quests then. And, um... Cool. And then we'll go ahead and fight the next battle in the, uh... The training course. <clears throat> Very awesome uh, game thus far. I'm going to be sad to let it go, but... Oh, it's D.Va! How's Vathen are known to be crooks in the kingdom of Graham? I don't trust those Amanians as far as I can throw them. I'm here to collect a bounty on your head. Come to collect a bounty, eh? How much are they paying you? Talk her into coming peacefully. DC 15 should be easy. Success. Hell's Vathen shall always be paid, I guess. I will come with you to the Magistrate rather than risk losing my life. Wow, we just made it 8 plus 8. Charm roll. Wow, I didn't expect to find D.Va there. That was a pleasant surprise. But yeah, um, we have to spend the night and then take her. But, uh... That's why we do it now. Um, wait a minute. Who are you? Oh, it's Eidma. Oh no, I didn't want you to join. I hit that without even thinking. Can I get my word out, please? Um... You fought well. Not well enough. I need to get stronger. Um... What I was going to say is that's I've been scheduling these three-day adventures with different RPGs. Some are new, such as this game. Not new in terms of just came out, although this game is pretty recent, but uh, new in terms of I've never lp them before. And some are returns to older LPs, but we each... We spend three days with each, basically. So that's how I've been doing it. Who are you, white-haired beauty? I owe the skull. Mm. Can teach me to be more charming, which I don't even know if I got my money's worth from that person. Because I didn't see any upgrade in my charm. It's hard to go past a, a 10 out of 10. <laughs> All right, Diva. 100 XP, 200 gold, 50 fame and karma, reputation went up to 6. Cool. So more success. So that is literally every quest. At least there. We still have the repeatable, collectible ones like... <coughs> Excuse me, come down here and do the, um, the worker's quests down here. But I think if we come to the fisherman down here, we should have enough sculpin. Huh, I guess I don't. Hopefully we can pick one up here. Monster pulls you in. What kind of monster? Oh, new new type. Gore, critical, bitey. Bitey and Beaker, okay. Um, bite, 
Spidey. Oh, there's that fish in the uh, screenshot of the loading screen, Bitey. Pretty wicked looking fish. Oh, dang, son. Dang, don't do them like that. How a battle cry that can stun all enemies? That's pretty cool, 25 AP. We don't need to stun, though. We can just... Take Beaker down the old-fashioned way. With a tricks attack. 18. Saved versus stun, but died. Which was worse. Okay. Wow, 77 XP. Dang, we'll level up fast finding biteys, but or well yeah. And beakers, but um still gotta find one person to go to the sermon. I'm not gonna turn in Dougie because he's gonna fight along with me. And plus we can go continue the main quest today. Which is um taking on Eos, but he's only there on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I believe. It is Monday. So we're going to go, <coughs> excuse me, or Eros, I believe his name is. I'll know when I see him. I think this is him. That's Kragulos. Where's Eros? Are you Eros? Yes. Um, I've come to train with you. I've seen you train with the others. I have to say, I'm very impressed. Very respectable. Prepare yourself. On guard. Very nice gentleman or lady, as it were. I'm not sure. <clears throat> they are very nice. Okay, let's see what we can do against them. They suggested that I take him down in one big... sneak attack with the biggest weapon I could find, but... What was that? I'd my thunder speed. Ooh! Dougie saved against the dexterity down, but dang. Um, throw a sneak attack in there. Oh, no! No, not my Dougie! Not my Dougie! <coughs> you know, this is probably a waste. He's just gonna kill us to kill him this turn. Oh no, he survived. He can try to take his dex down for seven rounds or stun him for one round. <sighs> Let's go for a stun one round. Oh, it worked. But he's turned around. His will save failed. Hamstring him? I don't know what happened there, but. Um, steel heart. Got him. He hit himself and that knocked him out of it. Um, hamstring. His reflex save failed, but didn't seem to hamstring him. Um, let me throw a dose on Dougie. Maybe he can survive a little longer. Hero's pretty tough thus far. I don't know if I'm high enough level for him yet. Resist the bludgeoning and I saved versus wisdom down. But I have something on me. 15, there we go. Okay, he's on his knees. Dougie's dead again. Oh man, it's gonna go down to the very end. Four. Sunder reflex, that can't be good. Um, steel health. Five. Oh, we get to go again. Critical threat range. Crit. That'll do it. Eros goes down. Dang. 
I've kind of cheated though by using a partner. Whoa, 458 gold through all of this training. Whew, incredible. I'm sure Sirnan was watching you fight. You should go talk to him when you have the chance. <clears throat> Please excuse me, Elzar. I don't want to be late to the meeting. Sirnan's kind of leaving, but... Hey. Okay, um... I'm ready to face the next stone wall. Sirnan is looking to talk to you. He wants you to go see him when you have the chance. Need advice? Sirnan is the only stone wall you haven't defeated. If you ever find yourself facing him in the arena, be sure to in the arena, be sure to beef up your fortitude, will, and reflex. Sirnan has a wide range of debilitating attacks you'll have to contend with. Okay. Um Are you? Oh, you're just a guard, okay. Uh Well, I guess we have to go heal. Probably save after defeating Eros. Although really I should find someone else to come to the Um Come to the sermon. I have real life pizza waiting for me downstairs, and I probably shouldn't have started this episode because I'm getting hungry for it now. All right, um, let's see. We'll go find Sirenin and all, but. Wait, is it... It's going on six again? How long did... Whatever we were doing take? Wait, come back here. Oh, that's Heimrich. He's going... He's going to his... I think it's Heimrich. Yeah, he's going to his sermon. I thought I just slept for the morning, and it was morning... It what happened? How is it nighttime now? I am really not understanding some things. Is that supposed to simulate that we trained all day with with um heroes? Wow. Or that I recorded my progress and that kind of... Took a lot of time or something? That is weird. Let me just check to make sure. It is... Yeah, 5.30 p.m. Someone could explain how that happened. I'm all ears. Who's this? Oh, Paloma again. Dot the night. She's an alcoholic at this point. Sad to see. Sad to see the nights go down like that. Um, Sirnin. I was hoping to find whoever the next uh, attendee to the sermon was, but seems we're not going to find that, so let's just go to Sirnin's crib, I guess. I think this must be it. No, Sirnan's not there. Okay, um... Quest journal. Speak to Sirnan at the Stonewall training grounds, okay. Hmm. Seemed like he was going somewhere, but I guess he's back at the training grounds. No, he's not here. Unless he's in here, but we can't really go in there. Can I train on these dummies? No. Hmm. 
microbe. Wait, aren't you Cernan? No, you're Craigulus. It's not that they did a poor job distinguishing the people. I am just very poor at remembering who's who. Because <laughs> they actually did a good job. As you see, everybody's kind of got a distinct look other than the guards. And even they have, you know, different looks. But all the NPCs have a distinct look, sort of in that gothic, risen kind of way where... It's subtle, but it's definitely there. Let's sleep till the morning, I guess, and then try this again. Wait, who's that? Oh, the skulls. Well, yeah, maybe, uh... Teach me to be more charming? 800 gold? Oh, you know what it might be? I might be at the max of my charm based on my charisma score. So that's why I stayed in 8, even though I got um, training in it. That might be the thing. Wow, we're 3,000 away from the next level. That's a whole lot. Um, let's rest another night, and then I guess go find Siernan. Hmm. Certain battles can be used, abilities can be used outside of battles from the abilities menus, such as Mage Armor. As the starting skill, mage armor. Oh, probably the mage's starting skill or something. Huh. Interesting, though, that you can cast mage armor and walk around with it. That's pretty neat. Wow. It's not a bad idea for doing stuff like that with uh, mage armor and whatnot. Spells like that. Alright, so let's make sure we don't step into some time warp here. I think we're we're good. It must have been the training took all day is what happened. Yeah. Alright, I guess we're going to talk to Siren. Oh, the combatant everyone is talking about. I saw your battle with Eros, and I have to say, I'm truly impressed. I never expected you to do so well, and now this leaves me worried. <coughs> Why are you worried? Isn't it obvious? We have a tournament coming up and the stone walls were beaten by a random slave? No offense, we have some serious training to do. What am I supposed to do now? Relax and enjoy your victories. Tyrion is planning to retire and I have to think on who will be taking his place. We can talk about that later. We can talk later about where your future lies. <coughs> I want to challenge you to an arena battle. You thirst for a challenge, I see. I promise that you will get your chance. That's it for now. We're having a feast here at night to celebrate the retirement of Tyrion. I'll be announcing his replacement. I hope to see you there. A feast? And the training grounds? Attend Tyrion's retirement party. Wait, it's at the training grounds you said? I guess so. Um, let's go ahead and take Eidma again. So we can take down Siren together. Oh, come to train with the best. Wow, well, Mugata will train with us. Huh. Yeah, I'll definitely go to that, but I'm going to pause the video here, go eat some pizza, and then return. So next time you see me in this episode, I'll be full of pizza. Let's record and just see how much time we have left. Episode 11, I know we just started, so got quite a while yet. Alright, um, okay, be right back. All right, and I'm back, and we're only 20 minutes in, so I have, in fact, had my share of pizza. Um, so what am I doing now? Uh, I guess going to fight Siernan, but he's not. I don't think he was here, right? 
Or was he? And I went and saved. Yeah, he is here. Oh yeah, he told me... No, he, we're having Tyrion's Tyr um, party. <clears throat> so... I guess that gives us time to look for the other possible... I know the, the bard's up here. It's weird though, it's just... I thought maybe someone else would wander up there. We're gonna look for someone for uh, the party. I know there's quite a few people that were missing. They're the ones that are like... Blank the hunter, blank the, you know, stuff like that. Blank the wanderer, blank the... Wait, you might be one. Ash the assassin, you wanna get nuts? No, he says nothing. You two... Let's come in here. No one. It's only 7 a.m. apparently, so we have plenty of time. It's not you. I don't know where they could be. They just don't really have a schedule per se. Like, they just appear at certain times and they're there. Oh? Satra of o Sart Sartra of Oslin. We heard that. Oh, nothing. See, like she just appears and she'll disappear all the same. So we have to check all these houses and different times. It can't be someone too obscure, right? I don't think there'd be in, like, houses down here. Maybe, though. Open the rogue. Aha! The sermon. Sounds interesting. I'll be sure to attend. Thanks for letting me know. Boom. There it is. We can go to Heimrich. I have. You've done a fine job. Here's a little something for your help. 150 XP, 100 gold. Reputation with Heimrich has gone up a lot. Quest complete. Cool. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, um... Now next... We would have to... Um... Sleep until evening. And attend Tyrion's... Retirement party. There's Bitey. Creepy looking fish. Alright, uh. Oh, wait, I need to bring fortitude food and stuff. So before we go there, let's go ahead and maybe take a hearty meal um, probably no Syrian chili wouldn't be spicy enough to get me going for dexterity versus yeah critical range plus one it's also tempting but I think a, a Syrian chili Wait, there's a feast. Oh, same stuff. Garbage plate. The world. Alright, so if I have to eat the Osirian chili to get spicy at this party, I'll do it. But I have to do it before the party. And I'm wondering if maybe there'd be a fight that broke out. There goes Tyrion. Hey! Where you going, bro? Into the barracks? 
Is that where the party's at? There's all the cake in the barracks. Wait a minute. There goes Saren. Oh, it's meeting with the Magnus. Don't tell me I missed the party. The meeting's in here, right? Hmm. Maybe the party hasn't started yet. Um. Huh. Let's try coming in here and then leaving again. It's later, so... Scroat's leaving. Aha, uh -huh, there's Sirnin. Feast here at night. Okay, so... It's gonna start any time now. <clears throat> to pass some time, I can... Come in here. Come out. I didn't pass any time. We're having a feast here at night, okay. <clears throat> I guess you can't just go indoors and outdoors to pass time. Um, What are you doing still here? Oh, are you showing up for the feast? Hmm. Is it perhaps in the barracks? Since there's seating and stuff, no? Let me try going off screen. Coming back. Yeah, I'm probably too early and it's not really intended for me to just try to pass time in this way. Now they're back and Sirnit's back. Um, I'd fight with him, but he's probably too tough. And it's just me, Dougie. Oh, and Eidma. Um, yeah, we'll fight Mugata. Come to train with the best. Need some training. Oh, you don't actually fight with him. Okay, now it's giving me this again. What's better, Adept? Journeyman. That's middle. This is... No. waiting gonna wait on the patch on that it's still the same day that I was told a patch was coming well no I should say it's the same day that I reported the issue in real life um, Try the barracks again. Everyone's going into the barracks. I have a feeling it's going to be in the barracks. One of these times we're going to go in the barracks and it's just going to be filled with people. Hmm. 
Alright, rather than checking every three minutes, let's make a trip around camp and then come back at 8 o'clock. It probably starts at 9, actually, so... Let's see, what can we do? Head out, maybe? Go collect some... stuff before then? Ooh, raw tanzanite. Portobello, three for three so far. Ooh, fish. Fishy! Fishy! Bandito. Dougie. Hamstring the human mage. He's hamstrung. Punch her in the face. Oof. Punch her in the face while she's down. <laughs> Victory. Ooh, 50 gold. Alright, what time is it? Going on 8. Fishy! Fish on, a monster pulls you in. Cool, it's Bitey and Beaker. Punch Bitey in the chompers, don't hurt your hand. Um, get a flurry of blows on Beaker. Eight, one, eight. Sneak attack on Beaker. He's the bigger fish. Cool. That should have passed enough time. Um, a lot of XP for them. It's only eight. <clears throat> Excuse me, eight. So we should go ahead and <clears throat> wait until nine. Raw sapphire. Two yellow pine. All right, we should get in there now. Just in case it started at eight. <laughs> Kind of auto dashing everywhere now, it just feels right. Let's see what's going on. Hmm. It is not time for the feast, it must start at 9. Unless again it's in here. Going to light up a smoke. Hopefully we get to the feast tonight. Or in this episode, I should say. I'm going to try to make it happen. Let's come out here and gather for another 20 minutes. Yellow pine. Sandstone coarse gravel. There's a fish, but he's over there. Alright, I'm guessing it starts at 9. Yeah, the torches are lit. That's different, right? It seems like it is. Oh, so the three different time periods are the three lit up on the clock. Very clever. Very clever. Check this out, guys. This is where we part ways. I have business with Sirnin tomorrow. We are at the party. Elzar, I'm glad you made it. Feel free to mingle and eat while we celebrate the retirement of Tyrion and the announcement of our new stone wall by Sirnin. Okay, so this episode's gonna go a little long. You're good, Elzar. With my help, you could be the best. Are you enjoying yourself? Don't forget to wish Tyrion good luck. 
Magnus Karanos, I've been hearing good things about you, slave. Cernan will be needing obedient lapdogs in the near future, so keep making yourself useful and you might be rewarded. Who's that? Chieftain Shevron, oh. Feels good to be out in the cool night air. What a pleasant celebration this is. Isser and the spell sword. Cernan and I am an honored guest and allowed me to attend this gathering. Cernan said I am an honored guest and allowed me to attend this gathering. Sir Aurora of Validus, the Lord of Night has awoken a new life within me. His word shall be my salvation out of this cursed land. This night of celebration shall be one of many once his followers gather. Idma, I will still miss I will miss Terran. He has taught me much. The stone walls need a strong fighter like me if they ever plan on winning the right to the Ramatuk. If Sinan picks you, I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> My favorite voice I'm gonna do. Ulan and the Gladiator. This is finally my night. I will make the Stone Walls proud. Hashar got me into the celebration. He's such a cutie. Could you go somewhere else, Elzar? I'm trying to spend some time with my special lady friend here. Court of Dupre. Well, God wants to train me. He'd be so lucky. Alright, wish Tiernan the best. I appreciate you coming, Elzar. Would you join me in a toast? What are your plans? I think I'll head out into the wild for a bit, see the world. Bottoms up. To our health. Um, what are your plans? Out into the wild for a bit, see the world. Um, bottoms up. To our health. Um, looks to be seafood stew. Eat. Are you enjoying yourself? Don't forget to wish. Oh. Uh, okay, that doesn't change anything. Um. Are you enjoying yourself? Don't forget to wish Tyrion good luck. Are you going to announce who will be the next Stonewall? Do you think it's time? Um. Yes. I think you're right. All right. Please gather around with the others. Please, everyone, can I have your attention? Oh, I should have... I probably had to do all the quests, which I think I did. We've gathered here tonight in a show of respect for our honored comrade, Tyrion. He has fought side by side with many of the stone walls throughout his years as a gladiator. His courage and loyalty are a beacon for us to follow in the coming days. Let us raise our mugs and give a cheer for Tyrion. Woohoo! You all honor me. Thank you. Being a Stonewall and fighting besides my comrades has been the greatest time of my life. It is with a heavy heart that I now retire, but I know just how important the right of Ramatuk is, and you will need the best of the best to fill your ranks if we want to assure victory. I may no longer be fighting alongside you in the arena, but you will find me cheering you on in the stands. Alright. As when any Stonewall leaves, it is now time to announce their successor. This person has shown a surprising prowess in battle, and I see within them a potential greater than even our last champion. Please welcome a new Stonewall into our fold. Step forward and be recognized, Ulani! Oh. It was not me. I swear to uphold the honor and virtues of the Stonewalls. Tyrion, you leave me with large shoes to fill. It eases, it eases my mind to know the Stone Walls has such a capable member joining our ranks. I wish you good luck. Now, let us celebrate. Drink and be merry. Well, so it was Ulani. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. I To join them, I probably was supposed to... I probably could have got them to join. Or I probably could have joined if I challenged her. Remember, there was an option to challenge her. And I don't think I did. I think there were others I could have challenged, too. There may have been a, a, a secondary way that played out with us joining the Stonewalls. But, um... 
speak to Sirnan at the Stonewall Chieftain's house. Okay, so quest updated, but very cool. Good job to Olani. Um, like I said, I don't know <clears throat> the various branching points of this story, but it's so interesting. Unfortunately, we have to wrap up this episode, but yeah, oh, there's Ashar. Olani, you are the newest Stonewalls, but we are still down in numbers after Eros. He was a good man. I hope to see you become half the warrior that Eros was. What? What happened to Eros? And I'm a Stonewall? What? Ashar, what are you talking about, bro? Did I miss something? Who could have done such a thing? Someone's sick. I've never seen anything like that. Elzor, we're just coming to see you. Something terrible happened last night during the party. Eros was murdered in his home. It wasn't quick. He must have been tortured for hours. We've come to tell you that Cernan wants to see you right away. Is there a suspect? Not that we know of. You can try asking the guard outside Eros' house. Where is Eros' home? Right behind us. It's the house directly south of here. Why does Cernan want to see me? He didn't t tell us. Or he didn't tell us. I'm sure it probably has something to do with Eros' death. You'll find Cernan inside the chieftain's house. Farewell. We need, we need a drink. Oh, so he wasn't supposed to actually be in there talking to me at Slight Bug, because I was like, what are you talking about? He kind of, that actually spoiled it, because not only did it spoil Eero's death, but it spoiled me becoming a new Stonewall. <laughs> oh, That was a sad spoiler. Um, never mind. Uh, I want to go save, actually, because we've played way too long for one episode. We'll go do what we have to do there when it's time next episode. But yeah, it's so fascinating. I would fix that little bug there, though, because someone's going to see Hashar like I did and go, Ooh, Hashar! And then they're going to drop some spoilers, which... Hmm, I think this is episode 11. Which aren't like, uh... Um, huge spoilers I mean it's coming up in the next couple like five minutes of you playing but still kind of weird there I saw I guess we saw Hashar a vision of Hashar in the future and we just saw a vision of Hashar there telling us that we'll go with that that works <laughs> so um, thank you guys for joining I hope you enjoyed stay tuned it's only th the night time of day two I have all day tomorrow to record more episodes before we take a rest day and then start three days of Nox Archaea. So I hope you'll join me for more of Gallarhorn and beyond. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. It's been so fun so far. Much love, peace, and joy. Take care, all. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.